given in by Connie from South Florida, and she said she happened to notice as she was out working on her camper here, she happened to notice what, what seemed like the sun flicker. And you can see the sun's up in the sky and there's no clouds. So she began recording the sun. This was from October the 5th in the morning of 2022. And you can clearly see it looks like the sun is doing some sort of pulsating in the sky. So I received Connie's video from South Florida, and then I received another video from Southwest Florida, Sanibel Island. Goes back to September 13th of 2022. And you can clearly see on this day there were no clouds in the sky, just like Connie's video. And the sun appears to be pulsating. Could be some sort of a processing anomaly. I don't know. But Connie, in the first video that I showed Did you know you guys, the calamities of the past two months? The, the earthquakes, daylight, volcanic like eruptions, the extreme weather. The sun. These are warnings to the whole of humanity from elites to ordinary people people in all countries. The, the warnings in the past two months to help humanity ago, wake up not to continue to sin. Lying, greed for wealth and, and lust is serving the devil. The but humanity is still increasing crime and war. So in the next the six days the sun will do something that scares the whole world. The CERN has found evidence of fourth, fifth dimension. This means that there are many higher universes coexisting around us. God is real, God is true. Yes is yes, no sun, is no. God does not like flattery and weakness. God is watching everyone's actions. If God leaves then this Pretty world sure will be destroyed by evil. If those in control would just tell the truth and let go of power. They'll see sights you've never seen before. I hope you change and stop sinning, fight the evil within yourself. You join me against the abortion law, Roe v. Wade, to save the world from destruction when evil comes. You all know right and wrong, you also know abortion is killing children from the womb. Let's inspire strong and responsible life to everyone. We need to resist tyranny and rule over people. We are against unjust oppression. We need to fight those who hurt and hurt their people while defending pedophilia, abortion, sex trade, sex. Life is not for everyone. A gift only for the one who deserves it. Share it with everyone. Thank you. You should worship and glorify only one creator. The creator is cosmic who created you in all things. Cosmic has only one creator. Ask the creator to forgive you for the mistakes you have made against the will of the creator. The Creator does not forsake anyone to return to the Creator. My prayers go to those who are being raped, persecuted, tortured by traffickers, those who are facing a cruel fate, those that no media outlet is talking about. I also pray for children who are being tortured in the womb, who think that their baby is an animal from the moment they are in the womb, they want to destroy it. Miss Bass, you didn't use the words that were confusing, so I'm not going to yield to you. And it is I'm my not, bill. But you didn't use the words in description of it. And guess why? It was Miss Ross who used those words. Ooh, and if I want to ask questions of Miss Ross, she could choose whether or not to yield to give the answers. But you but covering that's, but for you're her, not really interested she doesn't know in the, the words she, she uses and cannot in the Judiciary Committee sit and answer the questions you on something as important question. as life or death it's when I control the time is outrageous. Are you done? Huh? I'm done when my time's done. Mr. Gates you, can is time. Yield those, you can yield for those questions, but but it's crazy that in this committee, when I'm trying to get honest answers to questions about the effect of the bill, you know, whether or not it paves the way to abortions, that you all want to sit up there and squawk at me rather than allow me to ask questions. When you have the time, you can control the time. How about that? But these are fair questions. She used the phrase unborn child. This is I would theater. like to know what that means to her, because what it means to us her on a break. is that it is a life. But you know what? I want the answer on the record, Miss Bass. I want the answer for the American people, because to all of us, my party that was impugned, we actually think that unborn life is a child and that there is a liberty interest there that is worthy of our defense and our protection and the values that undergird the American Constitution. I don't think that's too unreasonable. And by the way, if you use a phrase in this committee, you shouldn't have to have a senior member answer the questions for you. You should be able to answer those questions yourself. And if not, I think it speaks to the credibility of the debate that is offered. So I'll yield, I'll yield Ms. Bass. I got, I got 50 seconds. Thank you.
I would like for us to vote on the amendment. I think the bill is clear. The rest of this discussion is theater. I would like to vote on the amendment. Well, Can right, we vote on the amendment, Mr. Chair? I, I, I tell you what, I tell you what, Ms. Bess, reclaiming my time, we'll vote when we're damn well ready and when we're done answering our questions. Oh, you chair the committee now? No, we have rights in the minority to utilize time under the five-minute rule to be able to offer our perspective on matters. And we're sorry if you all are in such a rush to kill unborn life that you're unwilling to answer our questions. But you know what? The good news is, with the Supreme Court we currently have, this is now a pro-life country, and we've got all the time in the world for that. I yield back.